Everyone, I am Brandon or In Game Ice Cream, and today we are going to be doing another episode of Igloo Review. I believe this is number five, where we go to five random players' igloos and give them a score out of ten. It's getting closer to Halloween. I expect there to be a lot of Halloween style igloos, especially since the Halloween uh, catalog got released recently. So uh, let's just jump right into it and start checking out these igloos. Uh, but before we do that, let me change my costume here, my outfit, into a Halloween-style costume. Okay, this is my costume. I am the ghost outfit here with blue bunny slippers and 3D glasses. I think this looks pretty good together. So let's check out the first igloo here. I'm just going to go to the map, go to the igloo icon, and I'm going to scroll down, you know, see somebody other than the first few people. Let's go to Room on Fire. Let's check out their igloo see what this place is all about okay as I predicted with will be Halloween themed igloos this one actually is pretty sick they built like a canal here in front and put a boat in it and then like uh, put pumpkins and grass on the edge of the canal um, they have like a dungeon igloo so it's not too um, normal to have a canal going through a dungeon I don't know I like the squid tentacles this area, some sort of flaming, slimy area, I don't know. It has statues on the outside of it, which looks pretty cool. The door has candy trail, has a candy trail leading to the igloo. Uh, there's a lot of little areas that you may not notice at first glance, but it's pretty cool. Especially this thing up here in the window, this scientific thing, I don't know what to call it. Um, okay, Room on Fire is here, this is what he looks like. He's dressed up in his Halloween gear. Trying to blend in with the pumpkin patch, it looks like. Overall, this igloo is pretty nice, especially for Halloween. Um, I'm gonna say 8 out of 10 on this first igloo. Very festive. Um, okay, let's move on to igloo number 2. I'm back here at town, and uh, there's a lot of people advertising their igloo, so I'm gonna check out one of these. Uh, let's go to Chummy for Alls, who says, Great pumpkin for. Uh, Spooky treats in my igloo. Come visit the Great Pumpkin for spooky treats in my igloo. Alright, they have a pumpkin jack-o'-lantern igloo and a bunch of bowls of candy. I mean, it looks okay. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. It looks lazy, and there's only one item, like, spammed over and over again not too creative this igloo is not very festive for halloween either i mean they have the jack-o-lantern here but then they just spammed bowls of candy i don't know this igloo is going to get a lower score for me i'm going to have to say a two out of ten just because of how lazy it is and especially if you're going to be advertising an igloo in town you usually try to put more effort into it this one's not creative or doesn't have any effort in it really I would try switching up, you know, from like a hundred candy bowls to like just two candy bowls or something and some design, I don't know. Two out of ten for this igloo, this igloo number two. Let's go to igloo number three. I am back in town here for igloo number three since so many people were advertising their homes. I saw Harmony Star saying something pretty interesting. He said, haunted mansion at my igloo. That usually ends up being a pretty cool concept, so I'm gonna go check that out. This igloo number three. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. He built the inside of the haunted mansion. Most people are pretty lazy and just like put the haunted mansion cutouts, but you know this guy made the inside of the mansion and it looks actually pretty nice. There's a gingerbread man back here, but I think he fits in oddly. Not gonna lie, he looks like the scientist in this lab back here, the outside laboratory he's got going on. Also, I don't mind that they're in the jungle. This place is pretty cool, not gonna lie. But what I don't like is this fridge. He's using the prehistoric fridge. I think that the mo more modern fridge would look nicer. And I don't really know what's going on here in the middle. I think it's stairs. Maybe this is the second floor up here. And he couldn't put walls back there. Um, I mean, but the inside of the mansion over here looks nice. This is a pretty cool room. The fireplace is over here. And, of course, you gotta love the big fish on the table. And uh, the kitchen, actually, in general, just looks pretty nice. I'm gonna give this one a like. Bring it up to 85. It deserves the 85 likes it has. Because this is a, I would say, 9 out of 10 igloo. For creativity and effort. 
And he obviously spent a lot of coins on this, so I'm going to say 9 out of 10 for Igloo number 3, which was Harmony Star. Harmony Star, a 9 out of 10. So uh, let's move on to Igloo number 4. At the Iceberg now, and I'm just going to pick somebody off my friends list for the final Igloo. I'm going to scroll down to somebody who's not online. Let's go to... Let's go to Bean Maze. Let's check out Bean Maze's Igloo. Let's see what they have in store. Alright, they're they're up to date with the Halloween theme. And they have a spooky swamp, I think. It looks pretty cool, I would say. They have, like, the volcano in the background there. Like, the prehistoric uh, background goes pretty well, I would say. I don't, I don't know what this is. Maybe a spider web? Um, it looks like they combined two soccer nets to make a spider web thing. Uh, there's also a picnic table here. It's pretty random. Uh, it has pretty good theming though. Like you all, you feel the same vibe from like every, every section of the house. There isn't like part of it that looks completely different. You know, it's all pretty uniform in theming. Uh, I'm gonna give it a like because um, Bean Maze is my friend, and the igloo is not bad. I'm gonna say six out of ten. Six out of ten because it looks like Halloween. It has a pretty cool theme. I think it can use like a scarecrow in here. But yeah, 6 out of 10. This Bean Maze is Igloo. That was Igloo number 5. Thank you for anyone who's watching. And...